what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk sexy red is trending for all the wrong reasons it's not because of some of our hit songs and you we know them very well but she has a photo that she's taken uh a video photo shoot video shoot rather not a not a music video but she is basically doing something that is pretty much um can i say i think it kind of set um black folks back a little bit and the reason is this she's pregnant right now okay she's definitely pregnant like very pregnant by a a guy who was uh let's call him a, a, a pookie okay and we can't even show what's going on in the video because it'll just get it taken down here on YouTube. She's literally bent over, okay? So imagine that, she's bent over, the baby and pregnant, tattoos and sandals. So the man is licking, I kid you not, he has his tongue in her behind, all right? Like while she's there, the tongue in the behind. I, I wish I could show it to you, but I can't. And before I get into this, brother Tariq Nasheed, he had pretty much a good breakdown on Sexy Red. I kind of want to talk about this and I'll come back. See, they had Sexy Red on the carpet bending over with that same wad of money. Um, there's a reason why her handlers have her walking around with a wad of money bending over. Uh, the, the handlers that be, they want you looking much as much like a street as possible. That that's what a street looks like. You bending over with a wad of money, <laughs> with a wad of ones. It's not even a lot of money. So they have her sashaying around with a wad of ones, bending over. Her little butt cheeks are dry and ashy. They love that image of us. And I'm not even trying to crap on a little sexy red. God bless her. Um, I know a lot of people are very critical of her, and you know, I, I get it. I get why she does what she does. She's like, hell, I could be a hood rat living at home on Section 8, or I can be the same hood rat and get out here and get this money. So I get it. I get where she's coming from. I get her perspective. And you kind of put yourself in her shoes. Think about it. I want all of you listening. Put yourself in sex, because people are very critical of sex red, of course. Well, put yourself in sexy red shoes. If you were a hood rat sitting in a Section 8 apartment, getting over multiple SDDs or whatever, and you sitting in there in your struggle apartment, and there's a bag waiting on you, all you got to do is act the same way, but in front of a camera, would you take it? So, now with that being the case, I'd like to talk about that. This is very interesting. Firstly, what you're seeing now, it, you have so many ladies in the game now, they're simply trying to chase the bag. This is why we're seeing ladies on there chasing the bag. They're trying to get on and they're trying to get on any way they can. You know, it doesn't matter. Like before, you used to need to have job skills. You used to need to have these things, but now you don't have to have it. Now it's just be as ratchet as possible and there is an economy for that. And whatever you were doing when you were broke, you can get on by doing more of that, okay? Now, the issue that I'm gonna have is this, because people are gonna do whatever they wanna do. I've seen young ladies um, rapping underneath like a, a fishing pole, and the fishing pole has a burger attached to it, a big lady, and or a donut, you know, basically making themselves look very interesting, and in my, in my case, foolish. But the one thing that I have to say about this, once you get what you're asking for, please do not come back and blame black men, all right? Don't come back after you have put yourself out there to look like how you're looking like, embarrassing yourself, you know, when a guy goes to jail, when your kid don't have no support, when you saying your baby daddy's a bum, just go back and look at you as an individual and look at what you attract. Just do that for all of us, do that. Let the world see what kind of person you are. So that way, when we see you for who you are, then we can see what you get. And a lot of people try to, you know, 
live in a world that doesn't make sense. What do I mean? Well, they go out there and they say things like, well, I don't know how my baby daddy is a bum. You know, I, I, I don't get it. And then all I gotta do is go to your Instagram page. Oops, yeah. Look at all the all the 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 twerking and the and in and, and, and the drinking and hanging out all night. Yeah, it, it it makes sense how we got here. It makes sense of how we got here. And once you get to where you're going, please deal with it. Please let it be okay. Don't don't get mad. Let it be okay. Let it be fine. You know? When you end up doing everything for the bag, and I'm, I've noticed this is happening with a lot of ladies, you're doing everything for the bag, right? Well, I have a question. What do you really want to do with that money? See, people got to understand when you're wanting to earn money and get more money, people fail to ask the question, what do you want to do with that money? People don't know. I just want the money to do what? I want to be rich. Why? Uh, I want to buy cars and houses. Okay, you want to buy those things that don't make money to make yourself more bills. Is that right? Yes. Okay, great. So once you go broke and you get a whole, around a whole bunch of people who want to use you and you make stupid purchases, how would you feel then? How are you going to feel then? Because in order for you to want money and if you're gonna sell your soul and do all of that for it, what are you gonna do? Buy a car or a house that's gonna drop in value? Is that what you want? Do you feel like that's what you need to do to achieve where you wanna be? because that's exactly what it sounds like. It doesn't make any kind of sense, but that's what ladies are doing. They're trying to get the money, trying to get to the bag. You end up uh, uh, around the same kind of people. And this is something I noticed with these rappers. The one thing that money is supposed to help you do is to get away from people who are losers. That's the number one reason why I think all of us are working. People are working to survive, but for those of us who want a better life, we want to move away from, you know, dangerous neighborhoods. Why? Because we feel like there are more losers there and losers tend to be haters. Not to say that everybody is a hater, but they tend to be. We want to get around people who are like-minded. We want to progress. We want to be around people who are doing things in life. We want to forge relationships with people like that. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. But then, so what happens when you don't do that? Can you tell me what, 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 what occurs? Can you, can you tell me? Oh yes. When you're a rapper or an athlete and you hang out with the same people that don't have anything, guess what they do? They destroy your life. So they help you get broke faster. In theory, you have to get rid of those people. You have to get away from those people who are not like that. But when you, but when you get on in the way that she did, you're going to look, you're, you're back pregnant again. You might have money. You're not going to be able to keep it. You're going to make bad decisions because you're around people who all they do is make bad decisions. And then you're going to end up with your life taken away from you or you're in jail or you're back broke. That's how it happens. That's how NBA athletes lose their life and freedom. That's how a, how a lot of people um, that are in the, the music industry do that. They're up and they're broke because they never separated from them or they're getting IG models pregnant and whatnot. You have to get away from losers. It is the only way. There is no other way than that. But when there's economy to be basically um, a so-called 304, and you can get paid for it. Why not? As long as you guys stay away from them, you'll be fine. So guys, what do you think? It's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. Appreciate your fire. You just heard the bell. We're out.